Hello and welcome to this Raising a Requisition module. In this module you will learn how to create a requisition and send it for approval using Agresso 5.7 Milestone 4. To open the requisition screen you need to navigate to Procurement and select the Requisition Advanced Entry screen. In this build the Advanced Requisition screen provides you with three separate tabs. For this demo, we are going to use the Requisition Advance screen to raise a requisition to a law firm for legal services. The Requisition Entry tab contains fields related to the supplier, the delivery contact and which budget the spend is charged to. The supplier ID and the budget code can be accessed using either the type ahead method or the value lookup which was discussed in the Intro to Aggresso web video. The Requisitioner field defaults to the name of the logged in user and the status field must remain active to ensure the requisition is workflowed onto an approver once it is saved. The message is an internal message for the approver and will not be printed on the final purchase order. I'm going to use the type ahead method to find my supplier ID. By typing the name of my supplier, Agresso helps me find the supplier ID. The contact field is also a compulsory field. In this example, I will set it to ordering. I'm going to charge the cost of this spend to the budget code consultancy. I'm using the same type ahead method I used in the supplier field to locate the relevant code. In the delivery contact area, both the delivery date and the delivery address can be amended. The next step is to move on to the requisition details tab. Multiple products can be entered onto the Requisition Details tab against one supplier. By selecting a product row, you will notice that the supplier details are pulled through automatically from the Requisition Entry tab. The type ahead method can be used again in the product field. The description is automatically populated. Contracts are generally related to the supplier. In this case, we do not have a contract with the chosen supplier. The responsible field allows me to enter the name of the person who has requested the order and the delivery date is populated via the previous tab. The quantity, currency and price fields can all be amended. Remember you are always entering the net price value. Because the product and the description fields are fairly generic, there is a product details field further down the form that can be used to provide the supplier with additional information. In the general ledger analysis section, the account, cost center, project and budget codes are populated automatically based on the details entered in the previous fields. Each product line will have its own general ledger line. The tax codes and the tax system is set at the product level and would not normally be amended. All that is left to do is now save the requisition. The action of saving will automatically send the requisition into workflow for approval. Within seconds, the designated approver will receive an approved requisition task. Once this task has been approved, Agresso will convert the requisition into a purchase order and email it directly to the supplier. Note the confirmation message at the top of the screen and the requisition number. Thank you for listening to the Raising a Requisition module.